It was a political deal to get rid of Roe v. Wade. A deal. A political deal he made with the evangelical base of the Republican Party to look past his moral, if they look past his moral and character flaws in exchange for his commitment to appoint just the Supreme Court would overturn Roe. Don't think he's making a deal right now with MAGA extremists to ban nationwide abortion in every single state because he's making it. In fact, the MAGA majority in the House of Representatives has introduced three separate bans, three separate bans to, cho to ban choice nationwide in every single state based on the state, each state. That's just a lie. There, nobody is proposing any law that would ban abortion in every single state. Not happening. There's no proposal. Nobody's doing it. And Trump himself, okay, very clear. I'm glad the states can decide the issue. That's my point. I've known a man for more than 30 years. He doesn't, as I said, doesn't care about these social issues. He doesn't care about abortion. It's like get it off the table. He knows it hurts him and the Republican Party. So Biden just gets up there and says this gibberish, and nobody challenges him on it, okay, except me. And then some of our other conservative commentators, and I'm not a conservative commentator, by the way. I'm an independent. But there are conservative commentators who call them out, but they never get mainstream uh, exposure. Okay, so I'm going to make a very controversial statement. I told Hannity on his radio program I was going to do it tonight on the No Spin News. And Hannity said, oh, you're going to get in trouble for this. And I'm maybe. OK, but that's not my concern. My concern is putting things in perspective. And I believe this. That if there is a judgment day after we die. I would not want to be Joe Biden. 